black clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Alright guys, so as you could see in the intro, I got a new friend, Smoog the Great Dragon here. He's my new pet slash ride. Um, he actually saved me from falling to my death, as you could see in the intro. Uh, so that's how I got this uh, dragon. I just fell down from uh, my uh, text, my, my name. I fell down from my name and this guy saved me. And now we're friends. Doesn't he look great? I definitely did not just buy him but <laughs> today I thought I would start a new series uh, called how to profit or something like that um, and this is the first episode just general tips that anyone can do really uh, to profit to get more word locks uh, but before we start I would just want you to uh, check out my playlists on my youtube channel like you can see my videos in at one page and then you can press playlists and there you can find my different playlists uh, and I make one for every new series that I have. For example this series will have its own playlist but I already have uh, what's in my donation box, uh, Road to Violet, Proto Drake, uh, Getting Rings, Intro Songs. Uh, I basically have uh, <laughs> playlists for every single uh, series that I have so uh, don't forget to check that out if you want to see like everything from one series don't don't forget about that part of my channel because I think a lot of you guys actually do and you have to search up every single video by itself all right but let's go on uh, move on to the actual video how to profit this is a tip I'm the, the tips I'm going to give you in this video uh, are going to help you uh, Is going to help you profit all right, you will get profit from uh, from this way probably uh, And you can do this it doesn't matter how many warlocks you have you can have zero or you can have 900,000 I doesn't matter uh, Actually, it does a little bit but <laughs> if you have zero warlocks this method will still work and I will go over another method Actually, this is the other method. All right, just all right. You can do one of the method. Okay, yeah. Pfft. Let's just start. The first method, all right. The first method is to buy a world that it isn't an item, like this world, for example. Buy energy. There are no energy items in the game right now, but as you can tell, buy energy is an amazing name. Like, how many items uh, could they add that begins with energy? Like, energy drink, energy bar, energy source, energy wings. Maybe they make a whole new energy update. Maybe you need energy to do something. Um, I don't know, energy crystal. I have no idea. But a lot of things can start with energy. So, the first uh, way to get a lot of profit is just to buy words like this. I bought this world by energy for 80 warlocks. All right 80 warlocks, that's how much I bought this world for uh, and I've been offered 10 diamond locks by some dude and There are not even any energy items in the game if they add a whole update focus around energy items this world will be easily worth like 400 diamond locks just like buy silk or uh, buy crystal or anything like that if they make a whole update like a new pack just focusing around energy it would be worth a lot and even if they just add like an energy drink then this world will be worth like 30 diamond locks right away so this is a really nice way to get profit um, before Summerfest, I actually uh, thought about buying the world by Melon. I think it was by Melon. Yeah, it was. Alright, so I MSG this guy, uh, Bombi99. If I could buy the world, I want to pay like maximum of one diamond lock because obviously there is no guarantee that they were going to add a watermelon. But I thought, what will they add in the summer, you know? And then I thought, hmm, maybe a watermelon. Let's get the world by Melon. Alright, so I offered him a uh, diamond lock, but he wanted more. 
And as you can see, he now wants to sell the world for 50 diamond locks because they actually added a watermelon. I, you know, I'm a bit salty I didn't offer more than a diamond lock <laughs> for the world, but as I said, there is no guarantee that they were actually going to add a watermelon. I just guessed it, I guessed it correctly, but I couldn't afford the world. That's something that could happen to you as well. Um, I also thought about buy birdhouse. I know this one isn't as great. I think I have one. Yeah, I offered this guy 10 warlocks for this world. Like, you can buy the world for sheep. 10 warlocks, buy birdhouse. If they actually add a birdhouse, um, let's check one item that could possibly be in the same range. So, bird, birdhouse, maybe... Um... I don't really know what could be flat screen TV, no? Like these ones. Lovebirds, alright? Lovebirds. Buy lovebirds. Alright, so it could be worth uh, just as much as this world. No, this world was not even open. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but anyway, it could be worth a lot if they actually add an item. So basically what this is... I'm telling you to predict an item and buy the world and if the ad item gets added you're gonna be rich all right if I had bought that melon world I would have been rich and I also almost bought buy gingerbread like why didn't I buy this world they later I think or maybe this item already existed I don't really know I thought about buying this world and then you know for the Winterfest last year, and then they added all of these items, like four items. So yeah, <laughs> I should have bought it, or maybe it was already an item, so I couldn't have bought it. But I thought about it, and then I forgot about it, and then I remembered after Winterfest. Alright, but let's get back to buy lovebirds, because this is actually the second way to get... Alright, let's just... I'm sorry about that guy. I'm sorry, Jaxi Q, but... <laughs> You're kinda going to ruin my video. Uh, actually, let's go to McDonald's. Alright, so... Obviously you need some warlocks for that method to work, because you'll need to buy the world from the owners, and get some of the items from that. <laughs> obviously you're going to have some warlocks to buy uh, the worlds, and then hopefully they'll add the items. But this next method, you don't ha need to have any warlocks at all. Alright, so what you have to do is just find different worlds, just like this one. This one is called Buy Diamond Shoes. I I got the outside lock this way and the inside lock is going to expire in two days. And that's one day before I upload this video, I think. Uh, so basically, this is the other method on how to get rich. If you didn't know... Uh, every single lock, big lock, huge lock, and small lock, everything uh, uh, except for world locks, uh, expires if the owner hasn't played for 180 days. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the boss gab played for uh, last played 178 days ago, and in two days, that's going to hit 180 days, and that's when uh, it breaks. When <laughs> if the if the owner of the lock has a played for 180 days, you can punch it and it will disappear. All right. So if you didn't know, uh, that's actually a pretty common way to get rich. Uh, when they uh, <laughs> people sit here and spam locks, I'm going to respond to show you. People sit here and just spam locks like this. And then, when the time hits 180 days, someone punches it, and the person who was just lucky while spamming the locks, they will get the world. Uh, so basically, this costs nothing, it will only cost you like one big lock or something, uh, depending on how huge the area is, this one will only cost you a small lock. And you can get super rich from these worlds, the price range from the different names uh, vary a lot. <laughs> this world could probably be worth a lot. If I get to warlock this world, it would probably be worth at least 20 diamond locks, maybe 30 diamond locks. If I manage to warlock the world, if someone else gets a small lock, I guess I'll have to buy the small lock from them. Uh, but yeah, this is a div uh, another way to get rich. And if you didn't know, uh, to sh uh, when 
the lock expires and you need to do uh, slash time. <laughs> Man, I don't really know if you understand what I'm saying, but if you do slash time, it will show you the Grotopia time up here, 14.06. And basically when the Grotopia time hits uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, uh, and it turns into a new day, that's when the lock will disappear. That's when this uh, counter will turn into 180 and it will disappear when someone punches it. Uh, so, to check when you have to spam the lock in your time zone, basically just uh, look at this Grotopia time and uh, look at your current time and check how many hours from now that you have to wait <laughs> until it uh, turns into 0, 0, 0. Alright, so for me in Sweden it's 6 a.m. I think a.m. is in the morning. It's 0, 6, 0, 0, alright? 6 a.m. I think that's a.m. Might be PM, I'm not sure. Either way, I have to put an alarm clock and wake up at 6 in the morning just to spam this lock and just have a small chance of getting the world. But that's how I got most of my warlocks. So, this is a very efficient way to get warlocks. And if you don't, and uh, to find these worlds, basically just do by and the different names, just like I did here by Lovebirds. This world has 115 days um, until it expires. I also have this world by 179, wood 179, where I uh, write every single one up. Uh, I'm not going to show you these, but I write them up here so I don't forget when they expire and I add one day to them every time, just like that, when it turns into a new day. Um, so that's what I do. And if you want to find new worlds, just do buy and the item name. And you can basically go into wardrobe. You can go into the Grotopia wiki or go into wardrobe and just look at all of these items and go into buy Teenager Wings, buy Teloria, buy Valentine Dress, buy Diaper, buy Floral Lee, Lee, and just go through them all until you find a world that has a lot of days in it. Um, Basically, that's how you do how you do it. You can look at the forums as well to find a list of the items or go into different worlds. Uh, but yeah, that's just two ways to get warlocks, uh, and it doesn't really matter how many warlocks you have. You can do it even though you only have uh, one warlock. But the first method also works. Um, yeah. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in my next video. Goodbye.